Okay, I want to, uh, oh, hello there. It is me, uh, and we are working on Python, uh, how to use Python in your physics course. So I'm not focusing on the physics, I'm fo focusing on the Python, and, and it's as simple as possible, but very useful Python stuff. So the playlist for this whole uh, tutorial will be down below. Uh, if you like this, that's where you can find the other ones. So suppose I have a dipole, a positive and a negative charge right here, and I want to display the electric field at this region. I've already done this for a single point, but now what if I want to do it at a bunch of points uh, around here? So what I'm going to do is just, uh, the first step is just to start with some value of R and just move around in a circle, okay? And then for each of those locations, I can calculate the electric field, right? I've already done that before. So the only question is, how do I find that location? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is say, let's say n equals 10. Then I'm going to start with theta equals 0. This will put 10 data points. Let's do 8. 10 points. Then d theta, I call it delta theta, is just going to be 2 pi over n. And I can calculate my vector, my vector ro is going to be equal to r, some magnitude of this circle, times the vector cosine theta, sine theta, zero. That's it. So then I just change my value of theta and just move around the circle, and that, that's all I have to do. So let's make two points for the dipoles, uh, and then I already have a function to calculate the electric field due to a dipole or to each point, and then I can display it with an arrow. Now, don't forget that if I display the electric field as a vector, it has a certain length that I want to show, which cannot be equal to the magnitude of the vector because they're not, that's not in meters. I need the, the vector in, the arrow for the vector in meters. So I'm gonna have this E scale factor in there. Okay, let's jump right to it. Switch over to Python. I am gonna give you this code down below. This is my function I developed for the electric field due to a single point charge at a location. Uh, the first step I'm gonna do is to draw my two point charges. So let's say Q1 equals sphere uh, position, I guess I should say Q equals uh, three nanocoulombs E negative nine and S equals 0 0.01. I don't even know why I picked that. That's the same as what I did in the last problem though. So this position for Q1 is gonna be equal to uh, vector uh, S over two, zero, zero, right? Because S is the distance between the point charges. S over two is shifting it halfway. It's on the X axis. And then the radius is going to be equal to, let's say, uh, s over 2. And then it's the positive one, so I should make it color equals color dot red. But you can do whatever you want. Q2 is the negative one. It's going to be a sphere. Position is going to be equal to vector negative s over 2, 0, 0. And then the radius is also going to be s over 2. And the color, let's put the color as cyan. I don't know what, I don't like blue. Uh, blue just doesn't show up very well in Python with the black background. Okay, so there they are. There's my two charges, they're really close together. They're just big, or they're close together, however you want to think about it. I don't really, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, so now, uh, I want to, I could make a function to calculate the electric field, but it's really not too terribly bad. Uh, I just want to go ahead and start off with n equals uh, 8, uh, theta equals 0, d theta equals 2 times pi divided by n. Now, I'm going to say while theta is less than 2 times pi, do the following. So I'm going to find my location of RO, calculate the magnitude of the electric field, and draw a vector there. And then I'm going to move my theta to the next part. So I'll say first RO. RO is going to be, oh, I need R. So let's say R is going to be the size of my circle. Um, let's say 0 0.005. That seems, seems small. That's a centimeter? Mm, let's just try five. Okay, so it's going to be R times the vector cosine theta, sine theta, zero. Now I need to de determine the, the electric field vector. So I'm gonna say ED for dipole is gonna be 
Uh, uh, no, first I need to find R, R1. Oh, I have R1. Yeah, so I'm gonna say E dipole is gonna be equal to E for the negative charge. So it's gonna be equal to RQ, which is Q1 dot POS, RO, which is just RO, and Q, which is negative Q, plus E Q2 dot POS. Oh, that's the positive one. To Q dot POS, RO, negative Q. That's it, right? I'm just take the electric field due to my two point charges, add them together, that's my electric field. Um, so now I'm going to, let's go ahead and do this. Print ED, and then let's say theta equals theta plus D theta. And I'm just gonna print, it should print eight values of the electric field, uh, and I didn't draw the arrows. Because I want the magnitude of that, uh, let's print the magnitude of that. I want that magnitude because I want the arrow to be, let's say, um, on the order of five millimeters. Something wrong happened. That's fine. Missing a parentheses. Classic. Okay, so I'm getting around three times ten to the fifth. Uh, so let's go up here and say E scale equals three times ten to the fifth, and I want it to. So let's do. Uh, e one e negative six. Let's just try that. So now right here, I'm going to make an arrow. So arrow. I don't need to give it a name. I don't need to label it. If I'm never going to reference it again, I'm just going to draw it. That's all I need to do. So the position is equal to uh, R O, which is just a vector location. The axis is going to be equal to E scale times E D, and then the color equals color dot yellow. That's it. That should be it, okay? It's gonna display that arrow, increase data, and then do the whole thing again. Let's see what that looks like. It's too big, okay? I'm, ooh, and that's really weird. Uh, something, let's just make this negative seven. Oh, I did no, two times pi and theta. Mm. Oh, okay, it actually did work. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so it looks weird, right? It does look weird because, uh, you know, it doesn't look like a circle, but th these vectors start at the circle. So here's my circle. And that is a good representation of the electric field due to a dipole. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make that negative nine and make it twice. And then run that. Now that's a little too small. See, this is the art part of it. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like I wanted. Let's just put this up to uh, 16. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And that's the electric field due to a dipole. And you can see it has this dipole shape. Now wait. We're gonna do one more thing. This is only in the X, Y plane. I can actually redo this in the X, Z plane and get a three dimensional shape. So let's do this. Let's put um, data back to zero and I'm gonna just redo this whole thing. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it. Now, what I want to do, that that is in the X, Y plane. I wanna do it in the, uh, the the, let's see, the this plane coming in and out would be the XZ plane. So if I do that, and I can just change this to zero and then change that to zero. Now the Y value is not gonna change, but the Z value will change. I think this will work. And there you go. Now that's, come on. That, you could put that in a textbook right there. That's like a textbook picture. Look at that. Electric field due to dipole. I mean, maybe there's not a lot of physics there, but it's pretty darn cool. I just want to rotate that around and look at it a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. I'm pretty happy. Okay, code down below, uh, list of the playlist down below, everything you need down below. Uh, so have fun with that.